Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to paint a Triceratops using watercolors. So I'm going to start by just sketching out the shape and I have the pencil and the eraser here. And the shape I'm going to sketch out, um, I'll start with the body. So I'll do kind of this eye shape, you know, starting from the tail, off the way up, through the back. That. And that's the body of the Triceratops. And then I'll draw uh, the head, and the head has a frill around it. So it looks like that. And they, and they look a little bit like rhinos. And they have that frill, and then they have horns, so they have three horns. Two, three. And, you know, people used to think that those horns were for self-defense, but they don't know for sure anymore. And then I'll draw an eyeball too. And then I'll also draw some spikes around the throat. So do another line like that first and then I'll draw spikes. And then I'll draw the legs. Then my, the back of mine is looking a little funny, so I'm going to try to fix that. So I want it to come down like this instead, and that will be the tail. Can you trace our toes? Yeah. So that looks more correct, just kind of erase. And then I'll just draw a couple of spots on the back. And I'm ready to start painting that. So I'm going to do the Triceratops, um, like a orange yellowish color. And then I'll do the spots more of an orange color. So to start, I'm going to get my, my yellow and my red and I'm going to mix the color. You know, actually, maybe I'll do, instead of a yellow and red, I'm going to mix my orange using yellow and brown because I want, um, want it to be more of the brown side. So I'm taking a little bit of yellow on my palette and then I'm going to take a little bit of the brown So I'm just going to put um, the yellow down on the body to start. You can see I'm painting around the spots because I'll paint those later. I'm also painting around the spikes on, on the frill and I'll leave the horns white too because all of those I'm going to paint later on.
Okay, that looks good. I'm going to wait for that to dry and then I'll come back and I'll paint the eye and the spots and the horns. Welcome back. My Triceratops is dry and it's ready to be painted. Um, and so I'm going to start with the spots and I'll paint them. Um, I'll paint them a brown. So I have my brown here. And I'll just go and take some of that brown and put it down. And I don't want it to get too dark. So I'm going to mix it with a good amount of water. And then the next thing I'm going to do is mix a black for the eye. Since I don't have a black, I just mix it with my blue, crimson. That's my black there. And then I'm going to go ahead and start doing those horns and spikes. Um, so I'm going to use the same black I just mixed, but get plenty of water uh, because I want I don't want it to be too dark. So I'm getting a bunch of water and then I'm just going to start doing a bit there. And that still looks too dark to me. So I'm going to get a paper towel and just dab it. Okay, so that looks like closer to what I want. Light gray for those parts. So I'll do the, uh, the frill and the spikes, and I'm just going to use my paper towel again to dab up this paint after I put it down, just so it's not it's not this dark. I want it to be a little lighter, so just using the towel. And then for the horns, I'm actually, I want them to be white, so all I'm going to do is get a little bit of that, um, that gray mixture and just do a little shadow on the horns, like that. So the main, you know, the horn is white, but it's just casting a little bit of shadow. And then the last thing I'll do is paint a little brown for my, for my triceratops to stand up. So that's my triceratops. I hope you enjoyed that and thank you for watching.